One of the questions I ask myself as we move into 2023 are some of the strategies we have, do they work on NASDAQ and S&P and other stock indexes? And so tick reversal was developed for the NASDAQ futures. The S&P is more liquid. Does it work on the S&P? I have two versions of tick reversal. This one is more high frequency. And you can see this is the basic tick reversal. Developed this in early February of this year. And this is what it looks like on the S&P futures. You can see it is short today. This last drawdown was March of 2020. This market is certainly different since the pandemic. And so there are new patterns that have been created at these higher index levels and regime changes related to micros, the micro markets that cause a lot more back and forth and some short-term mean reversion trades that you can take. You can see um, tick reversal, the trade right here, the market rallies, and then it mean reverts back to its trend. The market here um, is in an uptrend and it kind of pulls back from this uptrend and so it's trying to mean revert but the trend reverses in this case and so tick reversal is a short-term reversal and mean reversion and so this is the 2022 version now in um, the end end of uh, 2022 September time frame we developed a more low frequency version of tick reversal called tick reversal 2023 and it was for the NASDAQ as well. This is what it looks like on the S&P. I simply changed the data from the NASDAQ to the S&P. And these are what the two versions look like. You can see, um, you know, and I test strategies historically uh, much longer and have some strategies that work much, uh, much more historically speaking. But when new patterns emerge and, they, and these new patterns, they don't fall apart. You know, this strategy is testing, we're testing it back seven years to 2015. It's not falling apart. And so it worked since 2020, and it's not falling apart previous to 2020. And so I like this setup, and every strategy has a drawdown. That's why we have diversity uh, of strategies in our portfolios. And so we like trading S&Ps, we like trading NASDAQ, and this is what um, the 2023 version looks like. The 2023 version is on the right side. The 2022 version right here is on the left side. And you can see the um, 2022 version in the S&P didn't have as big of a drawdown. You see a bigger drawdown right here. And this was in um, at the end of November of 2021, about a year ago. And then since this entire year, it's hardly had a drawdown. And so it's really this setup is really in tune with 2022 price action. And so you can take a look here. It take, takes less trades over the same time period. There's a thousand trades versus the 2022 version, which is 2,500 trades. So two and a half times more trades. Average trade profit is $34. You have to consider it is averaging in this time frame as well. The average trade profit from this point forward is much higher. This is also with slippage and commission. So. This is the 2023 version. What is the average trade profit? It's $59. Well, from this time frame forward, it's much higher. You can see that. If you look at 2022, the annual results alone, you can see 32,000 on how many trades? 142 trades. So for this year, it's $225 average trade profit. So I like the concept of trading a strategy that's in tune with the current market and it hasn't fallen apart in previous years. It does have drawdowns like any system that is not optimized. Um, any system will have a drawdown. That's why we like to combine them, different methodologies, so that the goal is to have strategies that do well during times that this draws down. So if this strategy has a drawdown during this time frame, we have a different methodology to do well um, during that time frame. Same as, same as this approach, we have methodologies that trade completely different. And so that is our setup. That is some research for 2023 as we are in November 2022 looking at expansion of markets. I like the liquidity in the S&P more than the NASDAQ. And so if volatility continues and the same strategy works, you know, it's, it's good to diversify and add some to the S&P. Potentially, we'll add it to our portfolio calculator and let the data tell us the best ways to trade 
uh, our portfolio setups. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.